Hello everyone, this is Tiger Crush, aka the God King of W's, and welcome back to some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Today, we are continuing on with our story mode and our playthrough of this amazing game so far. If you've seen my first episode, shouts out to you, you guys are the day ones. Um, my unboxing video actually got, like, some, some moderate amount of views, um, for the short time that it's been up, so I'd like to thank you guys too if you enjoy my videos. Definitely like them hit the thumbs up and subscribe because there's more videos to come every day uh but yeah just to start off this video i think i'm gonna do this um this start off every video is to pay homage to you know my my father like zen right there you see the great hero of the you the the whole entire universe all the universes so we're gonna pay homage to him at the start of each video but today we are continuing on with our um instruction so we got a story event over there as long as well as a quest event. So, oh yeah, we also got yeah. Um, last episode, just to recap, we we um we did the first mission that you know Zen Senior did, and uh, we passed with flying colors apparently, and uh, but we still don't have our flying license. So hopefully we do get that in this episode. I don't know how how we're gonna do that. Uh, but there is this high school over here. And my master Piccolo over here. Yeah, off off screen I made Piccolo my um mm. my sensei. Yeah, so I don't know why he's over here because he wasn't over here at first. But uh, who's this dude? What's up? Oh, this is the girl. You're the one that was chosen to take on that critical mission. I'm one of your upper classmates. Not to jump right into it, but I really like to challenge you to a one-on-one -on -one match to see just how tough you really are. Consider a practical education. Now, don't go easy on me because I'm a woman. I never do. Come give it everything you've got. You'll sometimes receive challenges from time patrollers you talk to in Kantan City. These are strong opponents who award large amounts of points. Defeating a particularly strong patroller may even get you a Dragon Ball. Ooh! There it goes. It's lit. You know, we can't say... Okay. Alright, so we're, we're doing a legit 1v1. But yeah, you know, you can't say no to the Dragon Ball. And uh, I know the first part of this series was a long video, and I do want to thank um, you guys for watching that if you did watch it. I really do appreciate it, but we're just going to give this girl these hands. Not every video is going to be 58 minutes to an hour long. It's just just because the introduction was so long, like creating our character. All of those small little details, the tutorial. Like, that's, that's the reason why the video was so long, but um, hopefully you guys still enjoyed it anyway. But now, like, we're on track to, um, you know, some regular, yeah, around 20 minute videos, like I usually do. Alright, so we just kicked the crap out of her. Jesus Christ. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, I've been doing a little bit, uh, a little, a little bit, um, I've been doing some little things off camera. Uh, I don't think I had this torn Goku Gi um, before in my last video. So yeah, I've been doing some parallel quests, trying to level up a little bit to make sure we're in tip-top shape to be the uh, the newest savior of the universe. But hopefully the universe won't need saving, you know? We're all about that peace and stay zen life. You know, like I say, always stay zen. But you know, you, you gotta stay prepared just in case anything happens, you feel me? You know, we don't want to end up like Gohan. No, no, no shade to him. No shade to him. But, you know, if Gohan was as strong as he could be, then the universe would be a safer place. I think we all know that. You're just as tough as everybody said. That was a great battle. There are many time patrollers in Kantan City. If you talk to them, they may challenge you to a fight just like this. Are you going to give me a Dragon Ball or not? Like, are, are you fucking or not? Not playing. Battles help give you needed experience. You might even get something special if you win. Try to talk as many as you can, combine that with your training and keep working hard. Oh, she gave me that full star Dragon Ball. Like, you are Bay Sin Sinud. You have a weird name, but you're Bay. Um, yeah, that's Bay right there. Alright, so, um, actually let's, oh, that, that was actually the quest event. Alright, so let's, let's get on with this story event. Actually, hold up. Uh, can you guys teach me how to fly? Like, Hello there, not the talkative type, huh? Well, hello there, your kindness is most appreciated. I look after advancement tests at this facility, you can call me tester. Here you can experience the teaching styles of the best instructors throughout history. Some instructors expect you to be above a certain level, so kindly bear that in mind. Don't worry though, 
Every so often you will be given the opportunity to take an advancement test. When you are able to take an advancement test, come and speak to me. Until then, have fun. Oh, I see. Alright, Krillin's over there, um, but Piccolo is our sensei right now, so he's our senpai, so... Welcome to the Patroller Academy. Here you can learn the basics of battle through Elder Kai's challenge quest. You can also take advancement tests to raise your class. Furthermore, fighters will act as your teachers, instructing you in various techniques. There are other teachers in Kantan City as well. Be sure to seek them out and benefit from their instruction. You can increase your training level by clearing quests and undergoing training. Once you have progressed far enough, advancement test quests will become available. Clearing these will change your class, giving you access to new skills through teachers. Impressed? I put everything I have into making it for you time patrollers. Learn well from and appreciate your instructors, for they have much wisdom to pass on to you. You must become stronger and stronger. Use the academy well and build up your skills. Alright, cool. Uh, can I learn how to fly? Because I'm not feeling this hoverboard thing. It seems you've really improved and your knowledge of history isn't bad either. Perhaps you should try advancing to the next level. If you're interested, go and speak to that robot over there about taking the test. How about retaking some of your old classes? Excellent work. It's important to have a strong foundation. You got a good head on you. So what would you like to go over? Whoa. Um. I actually don't need any of this. Uh, not to sound conceited, but um. Yeah, I know. I know. Practice makes perfect, Elder Kai. But actually, you know, we, when you pass the test, your rank will increase, giving you access to more instructors. Yeah. Energy charge. I already got the maximum power energy charge from my my father, man. Like he passed me. He passed down the genes to me. He passed down his abilities, and he even passed down his great Gohan mask. Like, I don't need no training. Come on now. No, I'm playing. Practice does make perfect. Um, if you want something, definitely practice and keep doing it. Because, like the old saying goes, you are what you continuously do. I don't know if you guys heard about that saying, though. Yo, like, the maps on here are dope. Like, look at the hyperbolic time chamber. I've never seen it so shiny before. Oh, okay, Shamsha. Y'all should think he can fight me. Come on. Like, this man... This man... Yo... Like, off camera, off camera, I was sitting here showing my brother, um, this game and showing, like, the different teachers that we can have, right? Uh, I, I did Piccolo sets, like I said, and Piccolo became my senpai. But, uh, after that, like, I, I noticed Yamcha, like, in the cut, and I was like, okay, I'll, gi I'll give Yamcha a chance. I'll at least see what he's gonna teach me for the first lesson. And for the first lesson, this man is teaching me fake death. Like, his, his move, like, the little, like... Except for when when he dies, it's not fake. Like he, he's teaching me fake death, but he doesn't even know that. This man knows the real death. But uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm just gonna have to pass on Yamcha's teachings. He he can't teach me anything. I'm sorry. All right, TNT. See, now this this is a this is a solid teacher right here. Like this man knows what he's doing. He knows how to get down. But unfortunately, I am a Saiyan, and I was kind of born stronger than him. Um, you know, not not all Sands are born strong, but you see, uh, Zen, uh, he passed down his, like, Zen, Zen he, he had, like, he had a golden heart, um, that's, that's the story about Zen Sr., my father, if, if you guys don't know, this is Zen Jr., he had a golden heart, and because of that golden heart, when he had, uh, me, like, my skin was gold, like, I, I came out as a golden child, like, in all literal forms, I am the golden chosen one. I am the golden one. I'm all of that. And it's just, um, I mean, not to brag, but I was just born powerful. Like, I'm born from the savior of the universe. I'm not the god king of W's yet. Um, you know, I am personally, you know, Tiger Ray Morgan, me, Tiger Knee Crush. I am the god king of W's, but it all originated from the Dragon Ball Z universe. Zen, like, his title was the guy King W's in that universe. He has fought through many wars, like he's I'm just giving y'all a little background on uh my characters right now. Um and keep in mind that when I'm saying Zen, sometimes I'm not talking about this character right here, I'm talking about what happened 
in the first Xenoverse, so if you haven't seen any of those videos, definitely check it out. Um, my most watched videos on my channel. It actually really dope. Um, some of them are a little bit, you know, iffy because it was my first gaming series, my gaming channel, all of that. And I didn't really know what I was doing. I was kind of just, you know, like, as far as, <coughs> excuse me, as far as quality wise, like, it's not on par with my videos right now. But, uh, I still appreciate that people did watch those videos. But, um, yeah. Like, Zen, Zen Senior, like, this man, he has been in countless wars. He, he's fought alongside the God King of W's. I mean, the the God of Destruction, excuse me. He is the God King of W. But his son, you know, he's, he's, uh, this guy right here that I'm using, he's, he's not, he's not up there yet. Um, he's having trouble fighting Krillin, Tien, and Yamcha. So, you know, he has a lot to learn. But he'll get there, you know, he was born strong, so. He'll eventually get there as long as he keeps, uh, keeps working on it. Oh! Y'all yeah, want that move, Krillin. That, that move is dope. I'm gonna have to make Krillin my, my sensei soon. There we go. Alright, so let's finish him off. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, for the first time I played with, uh, Goku Black on this game. I have to say that he's a solid character. The only thing I wish, I, I wish they had Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black, but I knew, um, I, I just know he's not gonna, they weren't gonna have that transformation for him quite yet. They may have him, they may have him, you know, if I progress through the story, I don't know. I don't know the story. Like I said, I didn't play the beta or any of that. So they may, I don't know. But most likely he'll be some sort of DLC. That's what I say. Oh, I just noticed we're going against the man Piccolo. Yo, like, what's up, dog? What's up? What's up, Sensei? How's it going, fam? You know, I've been fighting all y'all in this hyperbolic time chamber non-stop, yo. I guess I'm getting stronger. Soon I will reach Zen level. The Zen Senior level. Uh, we gotta take Piccolo down. Like, he's actually really strong. He has a lot of stamina, too. Well, more, a lot more than me. Only got, what, I got four bars? Five? Five bars. Bars, bars, bars. I'm just so happy to have this game now. Yes, Elder Kai, I know what to do. I know what to do, Elder Kai. Sorry, guys, a little quick edit right there, but yeah, um. Forgot what I was talking about, but. Alright, so we're almost done with this mission. You know, my man Piccolo, he's training us, but. You know, you, you gotta you gotta surpass your masters one day. You know, I, I have in no way surpassed Piccolo yet. I don't even know what kind of level I am. I'm probably like level 4 or something. Maybe. Oh, we got an S rank. Okay, well, Piccolo is happy with us. As long as the Senpai is satisfied with us, then we're doing good. Yo, yo, we're getting some stuff for points. Oh, I'm level. I'm, I was level eight. Now I'm level eleven. All right, we. I don't. Honestly, I don't care about the energy charge. I already got the maximum energy charge. But, uh, yeah. Let me actually fix this real quick. I don't want to make these videos too long. Like, we're already on 15 minutes. Like, time flies, yo. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Alright, so I, I'm actually going to do, um... Well, depending on what it is, I'm going to either do one more thing or I'm going to end the video right here uh, with our passing of this advancement test. Uh, I still need to get that flying license. If that's not like a main story thing, then I might just do that off um, off camera. But I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Well done, you passed the test. You can now take new classes. You should go greet the new instructors and take advantage of the new lessons available. All right, dope, cool, rad, gnarly, far out. Um, all right, there's a story event in the middle. Sorry, so this was a part of the story. Actually, what what does he have to say? Oh, 
There's a wide range from tough nuts to small children, but their ability is proven you can still learn a lot from them. It could be a little rough though, heh 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 heh. Um. Alright, so, um. Hold on, what? It said master something. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Alright, so I think we got some new instructors, and what Elder Kai said is that they're Saiyans. Uh, small ch some small children, some are, um. Piccolo actually, yellow, yeah, like the the, pro the um pacing of this game is fast though. Like even though we've spent like 17 minutes, it's fast. But um, I think we're gonna end the episode right here. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. This has been episode two of Tiger Knee Crush plays Dragon Ball Xenoverse two. So um, if you enjoyed, definitely hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, definitely hit that subscribe button. I post. I'm gonna be posting Dragon Ball Xenoverse two videos every day. So. Stay tuned to that and subscribe to the channel. I've been talking to you, Crush, aka the Guy King of W's. Peace and stay zen.